What's going on YouTube? This is Stefan from the You Go Fishing channel and I'm here to do a review on the Pelican Catch 120 kayak. So the first half of this review is pretty much going to be me going over the basics of this kayak and telling you how I uh, rigged it up. And the second half is going to be my first time taking it out and actually testing it. So here we go. Um, the Pelican Catch 120 just came out I believe last spring. Um, the Technic the technical uh, parts of it is the uh, the length is 11 foot 8, just shy of 12 feet. The beam or the width is 34 inches. It's 15 feet tall and it's a sit on top kayak that weighs about 70 pounds and can take 400 pounds on top of it. That's its max capacity. So the things I did to this kayak are I added the milk crate with the rod holders. What I did was I zip tied them onto here put a notch in each of these, zip tie them. Um, after that, I grinded down the ends so that they weren't sharp when I was going in to grab stuff. Um, next thing I added was my little ammo box right here. It's just a little ammo, plastic ammo can. I put all my valuables in here, all my electronics, GoPro stuff, my phone, everything pretty much, my lunch. Um, so that's what I do there. What's nice about it is it's easily accessible. I don't have to put anything in the hatch um, and then go in there and grab it and dig it out. All I have to do is lean over, grab it, and I'm good to go. Next thing I like really, really much about this thing is the seat. The seat is very, very um, useful. Um, it's got two positions. It's on the high position right now. I can put it on the low. All you do is flip it up. Now it's in the low position, so you lower your center of gravity. Now you can get paddling more easily. Um, but I usually keep it up because I like to sight fish. And it's usually easier to get up when you want to uh, stand up on it. Uh, it does have the stand-up strap here. Comes stock. Comes with the, um, uh, the footrest as well. Um, it comes with the... Uh, this bungee strap that I use to tuck everything in, keep my milk crate and ammo can all secure. Next thing it does, it comes with the uh, the flush mount rod holders. I keep my pliers in here, nice and handy. They don't fall through. They're always accessible. Another thing I actually added to this milk crate with those um, zip ties is little utility um, holders. I keep my uh, scissors here, and I've got a sheath here with my knife in case I need it. it stays tucked in there um, another thing I add to this kayak was a homemade anchor system 10 pound dumbbell tied to some um, some cord uh, 2 inch PVC with um, a ring in here it's just a pop up ring it breaks open and then I unwind it to the desired length twist it through the ring and it stays nice and tight as you can see and the bungee lets it um, kind of extend when it needs to when those big waves hit me so it doesn't jerk me around so I just keep that tucked in here and this bungee actually came stock with the kayak um, it is a paddle holder actually um, I just keep my paddle on the other side like so So that stays nice and tight in here. And if I ever need to change the anchor to the other side because of wind or current, I can do that as well. It's an easy, quick change. Um, what else? Uh, the other thing that I did actually was I added a little backup um, measuring system. I got some yellow electrical tape marked every two inches and then an inch in between. So when I have my paddle set sideways like that, I can just rest the fish on top. Um, another thing about this kayak would be, another thing I add to this is the GoPro mount. I put the, um, the glued mount up on the top so I have it face that way every time I get a catch. Another thing I'm thinking about adding actually is another one right here on the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the gooseneck going down and then so I can get all the underwater releases 
all the underwater catches for you while I'm landing my fish as well. And um, oh, another thing as well is the wheels. Um, I've looked up these wheels, this, uh, the kits and everything online. It goes for over 50 bucks. I'm not spending that kind of money to get, move my kayak around, so I made my own. All you need is some 2x4, lawnmower wheels, and bolts. And uh, the way this thing works is the bolts are pushed in. I drilled the hole into the side. Let me see if I can get this out for you guys. All right, like that. You can see I drilled in, put a notch for my bungee to keep it secure. And then when you wanna take it out of the water, you just put it, take it out to the water. All you do is put it together, put it together like this, push it down. And it does have a little bit of play in it, but it's not enough to affect your steering and it's not gonna pop off on you. And you can do anything you want, basically. You can do it out of two by four, PVC, whatever you want to do, whatever you have. And uh, all I do is I strap it under there. I put it underneath, and then I strap it up like this with the bungees, and it goes underneath like that. And then uh, it's good to go. All I do is park my car in the parking lot, um, and then pull it out, and I go straight to the water with it. I don't have to be running back and forth. And then I can take that apart and put it into the front hatch. Uh, another mod I actually did with the hatch though is I added a little live well or a, like a cooler. What I did was I took a heavy duty garbage bag, um, wrapped it around this lip here, duct taped it, and then duct taped it up the center so that I have access still in my hatch to, for rods and my wheel system. And uh, if I catch a fish or something, I can just put some ice in there and let them this goes all the way probably back to here so that's a nice uh, little rig that I hooked up it's very easy to do you might as well give it a shot um, if you're into um, you know utilizing all your space or you want to make some kind of live well or some cooler that you want to keep underneath for your fish because if you would have just you know thrown your fish down there they'd slide all the way back and then it's just too much of a headache this way all I have to do is pull this bag up and I uh, got all the stuff I need as well. um, I was actually thinking about drilling a hole here and putting a hatch in there as well. You know, I might do that later on. I'll let you. I'll let you guys know what happens with that. Um, just for extra storage, maybe I'll make it um, waterproof. Waterproof seal there to keep my valuables. But yeah, pretty much other than that, um, that's the kayak. That's what I've done with it lately. Um, so far, I just got it last week. I didn't have a lot of time to mod it. Just something to do. You know. Um, just something to get out in the water with and make it useful um, So yeah, uh, enjoy my um, The video that I took at the lake first slime my kayak. It's pretty excited about it It's pretty fun. And if you guys are thinking about getting a kayak for yourselves, it is worth it It is and you can get to places that you can't go with a boat You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about registering your kayak in most states and it's just a lot of fun so thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video that um, I'm setting up after this. Um, like I said, I have more videos to come on YouTube. I actually got some saltwater videos to do because I'm going to be doing some uh, Florida fishing next week. So um, the first few subscribers that give us a shot, thank you so much. We've got more videos coming up. All right, thanks for watching.
All right, so we're trying to do here, see if we can snag some rock bass or some large mouse over by those pilings. The wind is kind of giving me a hard time here. Pushing me out into the lake. Originally, I had the anchor trolley on the left side, but it wasn't giving me a good, uh, good view to cast from, so I'm gonna switch on over to the right side with the trolley. Hopefully that way we get a better uh, vantage point. fighting. Uh, looks like we got something here, guys. Woo! Lake St. Clair Garb. Still wants to run, still wants to run. Just let him run. Let's turn my kayak. Let's turn the kayak. He's still going. I got him right now, I got him on a shad wrap, perch color. Just a little shallow, shallow diving shad wrap. Oh, I got him right between the teeth. Let's get him in the boat. Let's get him in the boat. Let's land this fish. Let's land this fish. Yes! We got him! Slimy, slimy little guy. Oh, let's get him out of this thing. Lake St. Clair, baby. I've shot a couple gars this size, but I've actually never caught one before, especially on this jerk bait. Wow, it's pretty exciting. I'm glad I finally slimed my kayak.
Now let's throw it out for some more. 